it's always hard to know you know when things doesn't work out but so so with Skype it, it's um, it, you know the whole journey was a long journey in a way because I started several other companies that led up to you know with Skype it was the third company that we started that actually worked out and and it was an interactive process and and you know you, you 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 start something and it doesn't work out at some point you need to say okay is this not going to work out and then you stop it and you try to learn from it and you should you should not retire but you should stop the project and learn from it and take take it as a learning experience to say okay what did we did we learn from this product you know what assumptions was wrong what was it you know how did the market react and, and what was the what were the reasons why we failed you can take that on and, and start your next project and i think most entrepreneurs are going on longer this you know the, the before they stop rather than you know very few entrepreneurs are quitting early they're quitting quitting late but that's also what they should do because it's the founder and entrepreneur who has to be the one who kind of it's like a, the captain of a ship it should be the last one leaving <laughs> 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 but <laughs> but you know when you look around and all the people you know left you know all the people worked with you they left and you're the last one standing then you maybe can you know take two weeks of vacation and have a think but 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 you need to be the last you know if you're a founder and if you start doubting then everyone else is going to doubt so you need to have have the confidence and, and drive that extra mile before you know before it's it's uh before you stop i think what you learn in university is is the ability to solve problems and that's very important then we have other disciplines also like you know in in you know in in business about you know st thinking strategically you know sustainable competitive advantages those things are not really changing so much accounting is not changing accounting is very important you know the legal did you, you ever know, do accounting yourself i had a little bit of accounting mm -hmm. <laughs> and then i thought it was so boring it's like why do i need to do this this is what accountants we do and i realized that that's actually something i should have paid much more att attention to because you end up looking at you know financial statements and if you're a director you actually have to sign them and if you don't know what it is <laughs> it's, it's scary <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> accounting is something that's very good to know and you know um corporate law um is is uh, is you know is is pretty stable so <laughs> i think there's a lot of things that you you know that that you know the, what you learn in university is, is 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 very important and of course if you you know you should if you have a, a class that says that we, you're going to learn how to do you know um uh, search engine optimization well that's going to be quite a short term <laughs> kind of learning because that's that's changes all the time and you know if there's a textbook that's probably going to be already outdated, but that's not the point. You should look look at it ab about the principles. At the end of the day, you know, a, a successful company is, is determined by the by you know by the the exit value or, or the, the shareholder value, the market cap, whatever you have. At the end of the day, that's that's you know that's the that's the scorecard that I think most entrepreneurs have. Having said that, I think that a lot of the very successful tech entrepreneurs are driven by that to some extent but they're also very much driven by making an impact to to change something to you know to prove a thesis and and to to make a you know lasting impression if you look at you know a lot of you know if you take you know um, people you know take take um, uh, Bill Gates as an example he had this vision he wanted to put you know a desktop you know a computer never desktop he had a big vision he wanted to go out and change that you know, Steve Jobs had you know several visions about how to how to change computing and how to you know um, a lot you know and, and follow on that a lot of other things. Um, Larry and Sergey had the vision about organizing the internet. We had a vision of of making possible for people to communicate for free. So I think that if you you're not only driven by you know financial objectives, if you if you're a tech entrepreneur, you're probably driven also by have making an impact and change something. <laughs> <laughs>